These are five of the most useful tools I've added to the shop in recent months, and they're all under 50 bucks. Let's go. If you're interested in checking out any of these tools you see today, link in the description and in the pinned comment. Let's go. Number one on the list, by far the most used tool in my shop is this Milwaukee Fastback. This is a utility knife that locks, but it has several features that I'm using all the time. And a lot of people carry this in their pocket as an EDC, everyday carry knife, because it is so useful. Obviously it has a utility knife on it, so you can open boxes with it. It's pretty obvious what you're gonna use that part for, or it's gonna cut cardboard, anything like that. One great feature about this knife is you can store an extra blade inside here. There's a clip that holds that securely in place so that it's not gonna go anywhere. And then when it's time for you to get that out of there and change blades, you can do that very easily with a push of a button. Push button lock so you can easily close and open that. Just a really nice feature to have. And it's locked closed so it's not gonna come open in your pocket. Right there on the blade, it also has a built-in wire stripper, so you can easily strip wires if you needed to do that. On the other end, you have a, a screwdriver that folds out. It locks in place, so it's not going to collapse on your hand like a lot of the utility or multi-tools will do. They will snap or close every time you're trying to drive a screw. This won't do that. This will lock in place, and this is magnetically held in there really strong, so you don't have to worry about the bit falling out. And it comes with a Phillip and a flathead installed. But it will accept any quarter inch bit. So if you have a driver kit with you, you can use that as well. One great thing is because of the length of this and the width of this knife, it makes a really good, almost full size screwdriver in this package. And one of my favorite features, <laughs> silly as it is, it's got a bottle opener on it. So you can open bottles of your favorite beverage of choice. Next on the list is a Wira Craft Form screwdriver ratchet but it has a secret, let me show you. So I have a whole set of screwdrivers that I use around the shop from time to time, or I did use around the shop until I got this. This basically takes the place of all of them, especially when I need to do small tasks inside the house that I just need to come out and get a screwdriver and go back in. This is awesome because as you can see, it looks like a screwdriver. However, right here you see L and R and that what that is is a ratcheting. So you can basically go lefty loosey, righty tighty. In the center, it locks it both ways so you can use it as a normal screwdriver. I like that feature that you can lock it out so it doesn't twist on you. And because it is a quarter inch drive, you can use any bits that you have already uh, to use as a screwdriver. If you notice on top, there's a button, push that button and it reveals all of the bits that you're gonna be using around your house for the most part. You got Phillips and flathead, or you can swap those out for star drive or anything like that if you use those around the house. It's got a nice strong magnetic tip there so those aren't gonna fall out easily. You have to really pull on them, get them come out and it just, it just works. That's all you want in a screwdriver, especially for small tasks around the house. You'll grab this. You'll grab that all the time. This little screwdriver's handy as a shirt pocket. Next on the list is a fast cap magnetic square. This thing is super handy to have, especially for the table saw and bandsaw. I'm using this all the time. As a matter of fact, I leave it sticking to the bandsaw because it has those magnets and I always have a square out right there so I can square that blade up if I ever tilt that table. This thing is awesome, let me show you. On one side you have imperial measurements, on the other side it has metric, so it includes both sides of the fence there. If you like metric, then you're covered. If you like imperial, America, you got it covered there too. It also has two rare earth magnets on the bottom, so it's gonna stick to cast iron and other metal objects, such as this toolbox. So if you need a square around the toolbox and you're always losing it, it's a great way to keep up with it. It also has nice shoulders on there, so you can use it just like you would, say, a speed square or even the Dell square or DFM square that I've shown before. That nice shoulder there just helps keep everything nice and square. And speaking of square, it is accurate as it can be. You can use it to set bit heights, blade heights. You can use it to square up your fence on your table saw. It's just so many uses to have. It's a really nice little tool. Next on the list is a pencil. <laughs> I, I know, I know. This is a graph gear pencil. I bought these on Amazon a while back and they have been really nice to have in the shop. I kept getting recommended these. People kept commenting or sending me messages saying, you've got to try these pencils. Finally, I broke down and bought them and they're really all I use now. For one, I like the 0 0.09 lead that's in this one. I keep one at the miter station and I keep one over here at the workstation. So I've always got those around, but I also picked up a 0.7 just to have a smaller lead if I needed to mark some finer details. So I'm always putting too much pressure on the smaller pencils, like use the cheaper ones you buy, like 
locally at Walmart and stuff, I kept breaking the lid. Super frustrating. The .09 doesn't break and it just, it works well and it's not too thick that it just uh, throws your measurements off. So I really like these pencils. One of the main things I like about this that protects the lead is it works just like a normal mechanical pencil, obviously. It just runs the lead out. Uh, but once you get the lead where you want it, this little clip, when you push it, it retracts that lead up in there and that prevents it from um, breaking or getting broke in your pocket. I also like that these pencils are color coded so I know at a glance which one I'm grabbing, the 0 0.09 or 0 0.07. They actually have some that are even smaller lead like 0 0.5 or 0 0.4. I think that's too small for my case. Last but certainly not least is a router base plate that gives you ultimate control over your trim router and these are made for most any model that you can find. These are from our good friends at Make a Wood Sign. They did a video with me a while back and they give me this as a gift, just full disclosure, but this helps me route small items because it gives me more surface area. They use these to engrave signs. It gives them a lot of control over their router, but I like the bigger base plate when I'm routing on small boxes and edges and things like that because the router has a tendency to tip if you have a small base on there. With a bigger base, it gives me more surface area to land on these smaller boxes and things like that. I just get a better out come using a bigger base like this. Super easy to install, just four screws you take off and back on, then you remove that protective film that's gonna ship with it. The router bases have nice handles pre-installed that's gonna give you some extra control if you're doing some fine detail work like engraving, but it's also useful on the edges of trim, things like that. They're also clear so you're not losing any visibility, just well-made, nice product. They've got them for DeWalt, Rigid, Makita, Ryobi, Bosch, Harbor Freight routers. They even sell a blank router that you can drill your own holes to fit whatever router you have. So no matter what router you've got, they've got a base plate to fit it. It's just a great way to add some versatility to your router and support a small business. Check all these tools out in the link in the description as well as in the pinned comment. I'm sure if you grab any of these, you're not going to be disappointed. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you like these five tools, you'll love these five tools under $30. Click in that box, click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist pump. Or if you got a little bit more budget, these five tools are really awesome. The Topo Chico Fastback really did a really good job in the shop today. I can't say enough about the team and all they did. Like a NASCAR. <laughs>